When we were learning about lists, we saw that we could refer to certain items in the list according to its index number, which refers to the position in the, the ordered position in the list. And referring to elements in NumPy arrays is similar. So for instance, in the price array, if we want to return, refer to the third item, we just simply put a three inside the square brackets. Recall, of course, that Python uses zero-based indexing, so we don't start counting with one, we start counting with zero. So the third item, we would count zero, one, two, three. If we are uh, referring to a particular element in a two-dimensional array, then we need to have two indices. The first index, uh, if we're thinking of this as a table, would represent the row. So again, this is row zero, this is row one. And then the second item in that row, again, starting from zero would be zero, one, two. So the element that we refer to by the indices one comma two would be this one right here. So we can uh, do a little experimenting here. So if we just pull out the, uh, the annual sales for trucks, turn it into an array, then um, we can refer to elements as I just discussed. We can also slice in the same way that we did slicing with, um, with a regular Python list. So we can see here that, um, so here's the whole array, and now here is just element number four, zero, one, two, three, four, which would be this one here. If we take a slice from two colon four, recall that the second item, uh, the second uh, range number in the slice is always one more than what we actually get. So this would actually be items two and three. And here we see items two and three. Um, and we also have the option of omitting the final number in the range, and that will just give us from item one to the end of the range. And we see there's item one to the end of the range. And we can also just simply put a colon and that will uh, give us the entire range. Now that may seem kind of silly because in this particular case, we could simply have just had it print trucks like we did up here and get the whole thing. But if we uh, are using two-dimensional indexing, we'll see that there's actually a use to that. So again, for two-dimensional indexing, we can imagine um, the first number represents the what's known as the uh, zero axis, the first axis that's listed, the first number. Um, and we can think of that as the row. The second number we can think of as the column. So um, if we print off the entire array, we see it here. So as I said earlier, if we want um, row zero, item two, we can refer to it this way. Now, because we have uh, two dimensions, what happens if we only ask for one of them? Well, if we only ask for, uh, if we only put in one number, that's basically going to give us the, the entire first array within the series of arrays in our two dimensional array. So we'll basically get the row. And then here's where we see the colon coming in. Um, if we say essentially every row we want to have column number two, we can use this notation here and we see that we get the uh, column two figure for each of the rows here in the output array. So this is how you can slice up a two-dimensional array and just get a one-dimensional array that is either one of the rows or one of the columns.